Jessica Aulis, and this is my husband Chris, and we are the owners of Spring Branch Kombucha. I had been messing around with uh, home brewing for a number of years, and I uh, came across a book about brewing kombucha at home, and uh, found that I could kind of adapt my home brewing hobby into something that would work with kombucha. But it was not a uh, uh, one day wake up and say, hey, let's start a kombucha brewery. The challenges are actually have been quite numerous. Uh, the first uh, was really spending a great deal of time learning and understanding exactly what would be required to put this product out for sale. It was, you cannot just make a non-alcoholic beverage uh, in the state of Missouri and just put it out for sale. You have to meet uh, some fairly rigorous uh, requirements, uh, and, and they're, they're, they're very good requirements uh, to ensure uh, the health and safety of the product. That was the biggest first hurdle that we went through. And then the second was uh, coming up with a, uh, you know, how to scale the product uh, in a way that made sense for what we were, you know, how we wanted to get started uh, and possibly where we want to go uh, with it. Uh, that part is still in, in process right now. You know, we're learning along the way and that's been the most, the, fu the most fun part of this is, is that it, it really has been um, uh, a journey of, of, of learning about things that we had no idea uh, you know, in terms of what our previous experience was going into this. Uh, and while they have been sometimes frustrating, uh, most of all, it, mostly it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun.